Hey everyone, my name is Anton and I'm a travel and adventure photographer. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Luminar's newest feature, Color Transfer, a powerful tool that makes editing your photos faster and more intuitive. With Color Transfer, you can seamlessly apply colors from one image to another in just a few clicks. It even recognizes objects and matches colors between similar elements, giving you a much cleaner and more natural looking result. You can also use it to quickly replicate the color grading from your favorite movies or TV shows, making it an amazing tool for creative inspiration. So let's dive in and take a look at how it works. I was recently in the desert of Namibia where I took this photo during a scenic plane ride across the dunes. I love the colors of the sand and the contrast between the shadow and sun side of the dunes. I wanted to recreate this look on this photo here. Now I could just edit these side by side and I'm sure that I will eventually get a good result. But the problem is that it can take a really long time. So a much faster way of doing this is with a color transfer tool. To use this tool, simply navigate over to the color tab and press on the color transfer. From here, you can select your reference photo. Now you'll see that Luminar has some examples for you to choose from, or you can import your own. So if I go ahead and select this photo here, you can see Luminar will do its thing for a second and then boom, you got the new colors right on this photo. Now, this looks really good, but we can make a couple of adjustments to clean things up. If you navigate over here, you'll see there's a couple different sliders we can work with. The amount refers to the intensity of the effect. So if I bring this down to zero, there will be no effect. And if I bring it up to 100, a full effect will be applied. Next is the color and luminosity intensity. The color affects the saturation of the colors applied, while the luminosity affects the brightness. The transition and color smoothing are a way to soften the transition between the colors of the old photo and the colors of the new photo. The last tool here is the match similar objects color. When you select this, it will match the color of similar objects in the new photo and the old photo. In this example, I don't really need it, but if you have something like a tree or a car, I suggest you try this out. Every photo is going to behave a little differently, so I suggest you play around with all of these sliders and see what looks the best. Okay, so we can see that this tool has done an amazing job at transferring the colors between the two photos. I'm gonna make a couple of small adjustments to the contrast and orange saturation levels. And once I've done that, you can see that the colors in these photos are pretty much identical. Now, this took me a little longer than usual since I was explaining it to you, but if I was doing this on my own, it would literally take me like 15 seconds to match the colors. And when you're working with a ton of different photos, this is a huge time saver. The other really, really cool thing about this tool is that you can actually get the colors from your favorite movies and TV shows and implement them into your photo. So for example, I wanted to get the colors from this shot in Blade Runner 2049. I found this photo I took in East Java earlier this year and I knew it would work very well since the composition and environment are very similar. After doing a quick color transfer, you can see that the image is starting to take shape. Now I can make some small adjustments to the sliders as well as the contrast and white balance levels. And we can see we have a perfect replica of the movie's color grade. So next time you're trying to match the colors between a bunch of your photos, or you're trying to get the look from your favorite movie or artist, I highly recommend you check out the color transfer tool from Luminar. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.